Almighty Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, God of the heavens and the earth, we thank you for the opportunity you've given to us once again to be here in this interactive session in continuation of our spiritual expositions. We thank you for the few brothers that are here and those that will watch this episode in any part of our world. Let your spirit bless each and every one of us. And guide us continually in your light so that we we'll never shift or drift into the path of darkness. In the mighty name of the internal, Amen. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes, you know, when we uh, were interacting, the, the first uh, aspect of it, we have uh, some people that ask questions, and uh, we are still continuing on that. I don't know, we will now come to you uh, whether you have something to say. Daddy, thank you so much for this privilege. You are blessed. This question is for someone, and I know people will also benefit from it. Daddy, if someone keeps dreaming, seeing himself in a former school writing an exam, or he sees yourself in your former house, I don't really know. Like some religious leader would tell you that the person is, is a form of setback to the person. I don't know if you can throw more light on it, sir. Yes, uh, the question the question is very very important, but uh, uh, it has been there with several in some of, some of so many of our materials, both on this platform, in the Ministries of Existence channel, in our books, and other social media. So that is not backwardness, and the basis of that has been explained severally in many episodes. So, what are, we will advise those that are watching this episode is to revert back to our numerous expositions on the subject matter of that kind of reality. Because the, the, the fact there is what is involved is emotion. Given it as an, a blanket outright, outright uh, uh, backwardness, it's a fallacy. It's not true. Because at any point where your emotion is discharged, emotion is beyond time energy, matter, and space. The emotion is not stuck in the framework of uh, the camouflage reality. We are yesterday is yesterday. Today is today. And tomorrow is tomorrow within that camouflage. Emotion goes beyond that. Emotion interchanges. And because it is freed, from the limitations of time and space and matter and energy. Therefore, the interactions come within its own kind of frequency. Depending on the, uh, the intensity of the amount of energy dis dis discharged at any given moment. You see to that? At, a, at any given moment in which, uh, 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 if for instance, you discharge, I'm giving an example now. This is your, 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 child, your, your childhood school environment. You discharge 90% of emotional energy at a particular point there. By law, eh? you will always be attracted to that school. In your subjective experiences, like dream. whenever you are in the dream world, eh? you have stepped out of the framework of time and matter and space. You see that? So, the, the past, present, and, and future converge at the moment point. And, 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 that, and, and that convergence is the outcome of uh, is, is the outcome of, the, of emotional energy based on its intensity. To that extent, the amount of the energy discharged will determine. You know, you may talk about discharging of energy. You can just be in your, your, your primary school now, uh, your primary school at a particular point. Maybe something happened. It can even be anything. It can even be that, that maybe you, you, you just feel that your mother is cooking the, the best food you like that you, that you will eat when you come back home. Uh, but you, the moment you, the, the point where you, you were and thought of these things, you discharge a great energy. You put a lot of energy, emotional, you see, you see. That particular uh, emotional energy that is discharged will, will be graded in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the different layer of consciousness. It will be determined. If it is, the, 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 the enormity of it, the, 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 the scale of it will, will be known in your subjective system. And if it is so high, eh? You will always find yourself in that in that school, school environment and other or other related thing of each nature from that. It's not backwardness. 
But the energy of backwardness can also further play out. I think I made this point no, several times. The energy of backwardness can also play, play out. If you think that the dream is backwardness, not that the dream is backwardness. The dream is a metamorphosis of energy pre previous, pre previously discharged in an environment. But if you do not, if you don't understand it, if you are, if you are not in knowledge, if you are like, in the right fellow, you assign another energy to that dream as being a dream of backwardness. Then you create backwardness now, not because the dream is backwardness, but because of the energy that you are utilizing at the present moment. You mentioned some clergymen saying that uh, uh, that kind of a dream is a uh, backwardness. Those, those clergymen, they do not know that they are helping to, 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 to step down the consciousness of man. They are helping to create what ought not to be. That is, it's like empowering what ought not to be empowered to come arise, to, to rise against you. They don't know. And you cannot blame them. You see? I, can't, I don't blame such leaders, such religious leaders, because they teach according to the level of their, of their business. You see? But in, in reality, it, it is not so. Even, even when somebody dies, it is possible for somebody to die. You know, your, emotion, your emotions are greater. This, your emotions are not you. But your emotions are you. Even when somebody, the physical body that you see as yourself now, when, it, when you see somebody say, oh, yeah, dead, 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 dead. Hmm? the determining factor of that vast experience still fall within the, the range of emotions. If it is somebody who says, for instance, he doesn't believe that that's love after death. Hmm? Because whatever you believe is what you experience. He believes that there's nothing like love after death. So his emotional propensity was not of life after, after death in the, in the next life. But because life after death can't be permanently stopped off. So the individual will be bombarded with about <laughs> the kind of experiences. He can, he can even find himself, maybe just in a minute, he says, he's, 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 he's find himself floating in the sky, maybe for two seconds, then he goes into oblivion. That oblivion is a mental creation. That's not like oblivion. But because he has already <laughs> formulated it in consciousness, they become part of his, until he begins to come to recognition. An individual may pass away now. Eh? An, an individual that discharged the peak of his emotions. Something happens in your life. All the emotional energy discharged by, by you are all graded. You wouldn't know now. But there are the, the many factors of many things. You see? Somebody may say, maybe he's getting married now. And the emotional energy discharged at that, at, at, of the excitement of that getting married is the highest. The person may marry at the age of uh, uh, 22. Or there about or before them, and and discharge that energy at that highest level, and and, and never discharge such energy again in the course of his uh, her eight life. It means that that energy stands at the peak of the emotional energy ever discharged by, by her. If the person dies at the age of eighty or ninety, eh, she will be surprised after dying that she finds herself at the, at the age of twenty-two experiencing life after death. She would, she wouldn't know the, the the basis of this until later in the year after. In the course of progression, she will also understand these things I'm saying. The person, the individual, will then know, okay, to, to what my uh, emotional energy that will be responsible for. That's why it is not good for you to focus your mind in, in anything that is detrimental to your being. Don't even focus your mind in injustice. Say, this person has done me injustice. Huh? Are you hearing, are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Huh? Yes, yes, sir. Say, somebody has done you injustice. Put your mind there. There at night. You yeah, are discharging emotion. What about that? The Christ said in the scripture, so you say, where your treasure is, there your, your heart will flow. If you, if you know you love yourself, put your heart, your treasure, in the consciousness of light. Because your emotions, that's why I need to get to people. You say this to the right person. I said, there are no demons in this universe anywhere waiting to carry you off, except you empower and reinforce them. In which case, the power, the, the, the initial power lies in you. Not in, the, in uh, not in such uh, uh, demons. And when you realize yourself, such demons become like mocked entities. That also doesn't exist in reality. That's, there's nothing that says, okay, as you are sitting down here now, eh, I must come and sit on your head and destroy fires. It doesn't exist. No. Such thing doesn't exist. Because it is not uh, attract to yourself. But you attract it in so many ways. You can even attract such a thing now eh, by causing pain on the, uh, on the child. And the child decided enormous energy, emotional energy, in pain, and it will revert back. So that's what you call demons. Those are the things they will write and 
come to you. If you walk on the on the, on the perfect part of light, you are a free citizen. Even what you want, you want to see you are the runner. Because they must look for something. Christ said, the prince of this world coming and has not a in me. I will not read it in the Bible. Huh? The prince of this world coming and has not a So they will, they will not come. So now, because cost, costness does not come. If you walk on the path of light and you live in the consciousness of love, remember that when you live in the consciousness of love, eh, people, people will take you for granted. If you bring yourself so down to relate with human beings, some human beings, some foolish human beings will, not, will never know what to represent anymore. They want to step with that, but that's why you don't mind. Because you are working for your freedom. Whoever lives in love is free in the universe of God. That is the truth. Love is not when something happens between you and this one. You report to this one. Instead of this one to bring the message of love. Eh? To quench the fire so that everybody will be in love. It's, it's, it's a start igniting you on how to even practically go. go. That is, that is, these are the foolishness. That is the foolishness. It's not like the individual is doing himself. Love means that anything, whether it's between your husband and another person, and if your husband is wrong, call him privately. Tell him that this thing is not proper. Then let us not do this. Let us not do this improperly. Don't support something. Support your wife. Support your son. Support your daughter. Support your wife and your, your husband. Not because of the physical identity of son, uh, uh, daughter, wife, mother. Father. No, 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 no. Stand upright. Because those things, they, should, they are the, the essence of love. And they are little. I used to talk to people about it. Even before uh, the great Lord Jesus the Christ, thousands of years before the great Lord Jesus the Christ, uh, uh, priest proclaimed the message of love. Mes uh, Moses, the great prophet Moses, proclaimed the message of love, but at a particular degree, at a lesser degree. Because he, he proclaimed the message of love. And he said, an eye for an eye. Don't look for trouble. But if anybody punch your eye, punch back. <laughs> huh? And one of the wise men, Mahatma Gandhi, said, if we keep that love, we end up having no eye. Because I punch, I punch this eye. Huh? You punch my eye. Two of us, you have one eye, I have one eye. I may use this one, my, my one eye now, to come and punch on you again. <laughs> huh? Then you have to reverse and punch. Two of us become blind. Mm. <laughs> so that is, that is the thing. You see, that is why... Thousands of years, even before Moses was born, came to the earth. The masters of the ancient Sharia documented the masterminds of the ancient Sharia made it clear that love, that speaking in another world, in a different world, not here on that, but the message was brought out of this name. They said, Love is the golden coin which will be demanded from you or from anyone that wants to enter into the higher regions of the Spirit of God. That is it's documented in the science. Okay, when you say love is the golden coin, it's, it's like saying, okay, uh, you want to go and buy rice, right? Tell me. I think you go with money. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Is it possible now, the way Nigeria is now, or anywhere in the world, for you to go to anywhere to buy rice? I say, give me rice. And then present something. Take this buy rice. I say, take this buy rice. Give me a rice. Would that? No, what sir. What you will accept is money. And the money will be the money that that can purchase that right or any other thing. So the ancient masterminds, even before the great Lord Jesus the Christ came, to not only to proclaim the message of love, to practically demonstrate them. The ancient mastermind will declare love is the only golden code. That's the money you, you are going to pay. You want to get that to the higher regions of the spirit in light. The higher regions. Eh? You know what you mean by the higher regions? That region, where you say where you hear people angels, archangels. Not even the region where Gabriel came from, because Gabriel, by the time he was he was arrested by the police of Persia. The higher regions. That means that even ah, have you not read in the in the scripture that even that those kind of powers, look, you are, you are part of our Satan. The Bible is not. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the priest of Persia is 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 a principality on that side. Is it not true? Yes, sir. Now, the priest of Israel is under Satan. Arrested 
and, and lot him off with one. But look at somewhere again in the book of Revelation. You see a particular kind of angelic being at a particular point descended eh? Eh? from heaven. I used one hand like that and picked Satan. Did you not see the distance? You don't see the very, very vast difference between Gabriel and even the archangel that came to rescue him. And between that, because archangel that came to rescue Gabriel, that archangel also fought with uh, Satan. Therefore, it was a battle. What about that one that is written that when he now came, you just came off, you are picking with him. There was there any battle? No, there was no resistance. I don't see you. You hit him like as you can hold as much as you have. Uh -huh. You see, no, you don't see that dimension. These are the higher, higher, higher dimensions of religious orders. He said, if you want to have access to that dimension as you are progressing, he said, the only coin that what will be demanded from you is love. It will be ascertained whether you have love or not. So when you think, when you have love, you think that I have uh, doing anybody any favor. Yes, somebody, yes, somebody somewhere can be the beneficiary, but you are the first beneficiary. Because all the spirits, you see, they, are, they, they know that you are in love. So when you live in love, you have nothing to fear. Our fear is, you see, I think you remember that thing that we are talking about. Our, our problem in this world is this discrimination. You see somebody, the mother is a craft. And the mother is tormenting people. And the person is tormenting, say, ah, why are you tormenting me? They, they, you see the children come, say, no, no let, let the torment continue. And the children may not be because they say, our mother, what about our mother did? We are going to stand by it. When the time of reaping comes, the, the, that family is vanquished. You see a man, is an armed robber. Huh? His the children say they love him so much. And that are the, the, the things are stolen. Okay, now, some people say, please, this, this is our food you've, you've come to steal. Give us back some, let us eat, please, we are hungry. Huh? The, people, the children come and say, hey, our papa, you are equally our papa, a chief. Get away from you, they start fighting. Ah, because they are defending their father. Huh? Don't stand for evil. Don't stand for wickedness. Any, don't stand for injustice anywhere it is found. Don't relate with human beings on the basis of physical. This person is man. And because of that, your mind is your mouth is blocked from saying the truth. That is not the part. When you're on that, you're on a different part. You see. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, you are saying that you have a question to ask. Yes, Daddy. Uh, we have to be brief because uh, we are going to summarize this. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. Anyway. Thank you very much, sir, for this uh, opportunity. Mm -hmm. I have a question. It has to do with from the book of Daniel, chapter 7, from verse 1 to the end. On that, in that verse, it was, Daniel had a dream. I was, he saw some beasts and he was uh, like fighting with them or something. So by the end, I think in verse 22, the ancient of this came and said that uh, the land will be possessed forever and ever, something like that. So that is that, on that, I want to deduce from that what happened in the book of Daniel chapter 7. How can we deduce it to what is happening now in the, in our, in the world of man, in the earth today, concerning our religious leaders, our political leaders, and what is happening? Is at who is the beast now and who is the son of man that is coming to rescue the people? Thank you. Uh, Daniel was not fighting with any beast. So according to that, specifically according to that revelation, uh -huh. Daniel was not uh, fighting with any beast. Uh, but what happened was that Daniel saw the uh, entanglement of the beast as related to the battle against the children of men. So in that, in, in, such, in, in such times too, it can also be said that he, he, he fought with, uh, against the beast while in Babylon. But that revelation was not directly, or did not involve himself participating in a battle. You understand? But, if, but generally speaking, he fought a battle. You know, remember how that name was cast into the lion's den? That's the battle. Now. And so many other things that happened. You see. So, when you talk about the time, that, that next saw the day we are going to go into discussion, we have written those things in certain books, and uh, that, that next saw on, uh, his vision was uh, even unto our time. We talk about what is the condition of the beast. I've been talking about that. I think in this platform we have also spoken on that. The, the beast we are hearing about is a system of consciousness, of nakash, the serpent. You see, the old serpent. You see, that's the craft you're hearing about now. You see. 
So that is working in different nations. Political setup, religious setup, the economic aspects of the sons and daughters of men, the military field of, uh, of being. You see, these are the things. You just to see what's happening in the military all over the world. Man kills man it's because of the name of the nation. Okay, what does it take the people of Palestine and Israel to, to uh, the, 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 the Palestinians are, are human beings. The Israel, they are human beings. And they are even neighbors there. It will, let, it will take the consciousness of love for them to say, what are we even struggling? Are people, people's life are, people, people are dying. But this, the beast will not value any life. What concerns peace with life? People must do. You see people say they are fighting for national interest. And they are fighting for national interest. A, a, a woman is dying somewhere. Mercy is not involved here. They will say, oh, what? that is that child. Let him die first. We are, what, who is it? But you that you want the child to die, you are throwing your bomb, you are throwing your this and that for that child to die. When you go home, you, you, you eat your food and rest. But the other person is dying. Why not go and stick, you, and stick your head? You see, that's the beast now. You see, you heard about Hitler. This are the, you have heard about him. Yeah. How he fought and uh, you remember that I conquered different places. And what was his vanity? So that you be known as Fura, is it not? And then uh, he issued decrees. Capture this country, capture this country, capture this country. And he, he created the problem. But when things were reversed, the only, problem, the, the only problem he found himself in life was the problem that he created by himself. And that problem, and, this, and he ended up in killing, committing suicide. Somebody that captured you, even the different, different part of Europe and went into the Russia to, uh, they say it was about nine miles or something to get to, to Moscow. So that is a celebration of victory. They were doing many things, like uh, committing abominations on the head of women and children. The name of the Fura. <laughs> the people should go and look at that, study that history of that man, because these are the things happening. You see now? But let me tell you, let me tell you. America and Britain is in the Holy Bible. If America and Britain are not in the Holy Bible, they would have been destroyed since. But I'm telling you now, under a different platform, no power, no power of the beast can destroy the United States of America or, or Britain. These two, these two countries. There's no amount of China or Russia that can destroy them. I'm telling you the truth. Because if, if the, the, the power of Hitler and the power of Hirohito, it's not Hirohito. Huh? Hirohito was so powerful of Japan that they even went, without any provocation, they went to bomb America. It's like, come and come and face us. Let us teach you what fire does with the years of rabbit. This, those people were well prepared in those days. Hitler was well prepared. Huh? But now, uh, we got about life forces. They, all of them, these are the network of the beast. But it was said that the beast itself, if you understand the whole thing, the beast itself, the seventh head of the beast that emerged, and the beast that came out of the seventh, he said that this, this two will lead into perdition. And it was said that, that, that these, two, these two powers, eh? it, is only the power, it is only the kingdom of Jehovah God that is Christ that will abolish them. So when any other power rises up, for, that, 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 no matter how far they go, they will. They will, because because they, they, are, they are not, uh, you know, because the power is not given. That's why that was what make Hitler. Hitler has already gone further. France ran away. France is not mentioned in, in, the, in the scriptures. France ran away. Paris, they ran away from the German machine. They, they, they evacuated Paris. And then Hitler was seriously, even bombing, bombed some of the, some aspect of the Buckingham Palace. Huh? He, would, he never believed that there would be any this. But if Hitler had succeeded in imagining as a, as a power that beyond the United States and, and America, then the, the Bible is broken. So that is why, because the scripture it must be fulfilled, no matter how. Because the United States and the United Kingdom, eh? yeah, they will only, it's only the power of Jehovah God and Christ that will... Still, Handle the, that is the truth. That is the kingdom. That's why when Hitler did all those, at the end, the same man that called himself Führer or Fura, this is the pushing his uh, from the east. The Russian people that he was defeating and destroying, 
turned themselves into Red Army. The Allied forces were pushing from the west. And this and that. Until even the headquarters of Jam uh, uh, this in Germany, they came into Berlin. The, the Red Army took over Berlin. Uh, the Allied forces. So, the problem that that, uh, that uh, Germany had as a data was not Hitler. And those is uh, henchmen. <laughs> those are his, uh, henchmen because, and they, they are stretched because they, were, they treated human beings as nothing. And that concentration comes, they, they, they put them to that side. You see, that is, that is the beast now. But they were not authorized to rise. And because America and Britain, eh, they are recorded in the Holy Scriptures. We are not discussing those scriptural prophecies now. From that book of Daniel, you quoted that chapter 7. They are there. Yeah? They have to, in terms of fighting, they conduct themselves in the highest form of human civilization. You see now. America is the only country in this world that even if you're waging a war against you, in the course of waging that war, it will be taking care of your women and children. I think you heard what happened in Iraq. They still took care of people. Even some soldiers, if, if you see them, they, they still share even biscuits and, 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 and this and uh, all that is the children. But which country does that? If if Russia comes, if the if the Russia come to at, at, attack, uh, do they do you see them behaving like that? <laughs> this this thing with British Army, they conduct themselves in the very civilized formats. That is why even even the same Hitler and his henchmen. When it was time to surrender, they said we prefer to surrender to America. <laughs> they have been, even though they have been bombing, destroying destroy part of Britain, this and they still prefer to surrender to that because they know that these British people, they are not barbaric like us. That these British people, they are not like us. But Red Army of Russia, that one is, <laughs> that one, if we surrender to Red Army of Russia only, and if not that American Britain was there, eh? <laughs> what would have happened to that uh, that uh, Hitler, another uh, his network. Why did he prefer to? He's on, he's, he's on record. Why did he, he prefer to surrender to America and Russia, to America and Britain, the Allied forces, coming from the West? Because you know that they will be treated, the, the prisoners of war will be treated as human beings. They will not do illegal execution or, uh, until they pass through the processes, the democratic processes of justice, our military tribunal, this and that. Country doesn't have time for such things. Russia did this. Year. What have you concerned them with military tribunal? You see, you see now. But now, even though America and Britain is operating on that aspect of civilization, killing is still involved. You see, you see now. Uh -huh, it's still it's still involved, which is lack of love. So it, it will not be permanent. That is why something now is higher than them. That will not that it has even emerged. But waiting, looking around in the, in, the, in the corner to strike. And so when the war of wars, that will end all wars on earth, is, is, is finished, everything will be made new. So what I read in the book of Daniel is a very important aspect. That Daniel is a well respected. You know, that, you, you know Daniel? Daniel, somebody that interpreted the handwriting on the wall. Mene Mene Takel Opasin to King, to, to, to King Belshazzar. Even his name is Belteshazzar. That Daniel, according to the, the, the name of the gods of Babylon, that was some of their higher gods. And Daniel was the only one that King Nebuchadnezzar paid the business to, honored, and commanded that they should, they, they should offer him an oblation. People don't know. Oblation is a worship of the God. The, 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 the Nebuchadnezzar believed that this Daniel is a God. That is why even when he made a decree, when, then, when Nebuchadnezzar made the Jigat, everybody in the kingdom should worship that golden image that he set up. Eh? Go and check the record. He said, everybody, anywhere you are, come, you must worship that tradition. You see. Go and check the record. Daniel, Daniel was not uh, 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 he was not there. Did you hear that Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, uh, that they said Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was cast, cast into the fire. Where was Daniel? Was he there? Because the Nebuchadnezzar have to give him that respect that even though I made this image, Eh? To, for every other person to worship. Daniel himself is the one I even worship secretly. <laughs> so he was not brought... Go, go and check the record. Where, where was Daniel? Or did he bow down? Because it's not, the Lord in the book of this that whoever first to bow down after when he hear the, the sound of the instruments and the music, he will be destroyed. 
Okay, where was Daniel? Whoever that, that was not there, whoever that was not arrested, it means that he bowed down. But I, I'm telling you now that Daniel did not bow down and was never arrested. You see that? Yes, sir. So, um, I think that will be enough for now. We will continue our interactive session some other time. Let the peace of the Almighty Father continue to be with each and every one of you. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this section. We ask that your light will continue to have dominion in all our lives and our ways so that only your spirit will have preeminence in light, Amen. in our lives, in our world, Amen. in all our situations. Amen. In the mighty name of the internal, Amen. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you.